Hello, Papa Flammy. It is currently 37 degrees Celsius as I am recording, so it's not exactly a good time, and I don't have a whiteboard, but I'm just going to go at it. So the question I'm posing today is a question that was inspired a few months ago. I proposed it, but it kind of stemmed from a BPRP video. It was one of his algebra student friendly videos. And even though there wasn't any calculus in it, I still was tinkering with the equation that he had presented, x plus five over x. And I don't know when I decided it, but I put it on a graphing calculator and eventually I multiplied that function by x. So it was no longer a, it was no, it didn't really look like a product of long division between polynomials it looked like an actual polynomial now because it had a, a squared term. And I sort of looked at both and the original video was about finding the minimum for that original equation. And I looked at the parabola, the new parabola, and I looked at the original function. And I noticed that both the minimum values were the same distance away from the origin. So with this peculiar fact, I didn't really know if it was common, if, if, you know, if it had a finite amount of times that this would happen, if it always happened, probably should have figured it doesn't always happen. But I realized that this was sort of a special coincidence and I wanted to see if I could prove it, or at least the, for, genera for a generalized parabola A, B, and C, does this always happen, or are these A, B, and C's the only integer pairs that produce a solution like this? My initial strategy was to tackle each constant at, you know, different times. I realized that the B variable didn't have really an equal shift between the parabola and the parabola when divided by X. Um, you know, they didn't really shift the same distance away from the origin and in terms of solving A and C, acknowledging that B is probably zero, but not coming up with a rigorous proof or anything, I decided to go back to how I proposed the question in terms of distance from the origin. And the, the way you can express distance, you know, of a point is the X value and the output of the function, both of them squared, square root that. But I realized you can set the distances equal between the minimums I just had to find the critical value in terms of A's and C's for both the parabola and the other equation. So I have the work written down on a piece of paper somewhere, probably in my notebook, but the general thing I did was I just differentiated and set to zero for AX squared plus BX plus C, as well as, you know, AX plus B plus C over X. And when I eventually set both of those equal to each other, the X value and the Y value, added them together after they were squared, and I set them equal to each other from both equations. That was at that point that I started plugging in B as zero, you know, making that intuitive guess and figuring how to write A and C as an equation. And the final thing I came up with was, um, the correlation that C is equal to 4A plus 1 over A. And this was very good in terms of f trying to figure out, you know, if A equals 1, B equals 0, C equals 5. If that was the only integer solution, this would help because 4A is, you know, just a normal linear ratio. But the plus 1 over A is where my suspicion was kind of proven that it sort of has an asymptotic nature that it, it is sort of a very rare chance, actually really the only chance that um, that, that, that pair of A, B, and C that I stumbled across was the only integer solution to this problem.
So hoch. Da kann er runterfallen, oder? So, da steht Ja, so ein motherfucking Raccoon up there. <lacht> <lacht>